Ah, back to the rigging. You remember the angle of the dangle, and our good buddy Mike who helped us figure it out and give us a tour of his tartan along the way. But let me give you a little glimpse of what goes on behind the scenes at the shipyard. Basically, there's a lot of trash talking, side deals, releases of liability, and non-disclaimers involved. I tell you, when that angle of the day. When that rigging goes. So how does this copyright I mean, thing go? <laughs> how does that work? So he, so he writes his name on it? Like, he starts getting into this lawyer thing, and he's like, blah, 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 blah. Mike's over here. Blah, 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 that's how you talk. He chicken scratches it down here, and he goes, here's your, here's your copy. <laughs> well, Mike was, Mike was, Mike was, Mike Mike was discussing <laughs> his consultant fee with me, and I said, well, that's perfect, because I've been looking for some one that I can name in the it's suit when this huh? rig comes down. Good, right? <laughs> right. sure. well, thank you for that. So I'll yeah. be happy to pay you a consulting yeah. fee. We've got our rigger, our structural repairman, we all these people we're doing this shit goes over. We'll add you to the, the I don't own anything anyway. <laughs> now, what was Mike's consulting fee? Dinner. But we bumped it up a little when he let us borrow his tap for the tanks. Nice, you thank not, you. I think I'm in the wrong place. Because you just might get dessert now. The reason says these guys are talking about can't, after doing drinking maybe Cisco, a, maybe a glass of wine. Maybe, maybe a glass of wine. Maybe a glass of wine. <laughs> Alright, most important item to note here, label everything. We had three attachment points for the rigging on our mast, one tang on each side for six tangs total. Labeled one, two, and three. Label everything. Trust me, people. And while I thought I was going to be able to put the tangs on the mast myself, I was sadly mistaken. With all of the collars, bushings, and extra parts that we did not want to fall into the mast, it helped to have an extra set of hands for the first assembly. And when we do it officially, we'll do tough gel. Don't freak out yet, people. This is the mock-up. Right. Huh? The linchpin saves our whole boat. This is the one and a half one. Pin in each one. Okay. To make sure it, it works. Let me tag the left. Do you need that lower forward? Yeah, Do you know? Okay. Uh, we'll get on this way and then get on this way. So as long as it's all identical, it's like how do you use These holes don't look too great, to be honest with you. 
I'm gonna never look inside of you. Probably can just file it down. It's fine. Do you want me to wait on Brandon and ask? And no, I get. I mean, use his file bag and. I just get his file bag and see kay. if that's it. You got, got that one. Of course, we have to test him on the other side. Yeah, well, I'll do that. Let me get the thing on. Just got to file it down a little. Nothing to it. Let's get a little file on it. How it happened on every single one, though, you know? That smart will do that. And the jaw on this had a little bit of movement. Do you think we need to keep that movement would, out? Like I would push wash, it out. That'd do what we, we did. Do what do Mike did and wash her it out. Okay, good. That's what we're thinking. That way it just smashed out. Yeah, it'll, yeah, it'll keep it from the cotter pin. Cool, cool. Just wanted your thoughts. Thanks. So Tang's mocked up and Brandon approved. What's next? He says, bring the camera. This man's excited. You get to come too, GoPro. What are we looking at? We are going to look at the deck connections. Oh, uh, the turnbuckles. Yeah, very nice. Because you said we can put all these on, just be ready for the mast. Yeah, so basically what we're going to have is yeah, they're pretty. this going through. Me too, uh, turnbuckle. I've never seen things so pretty in my life. Stainless turnbuckle. And then this will. That's our stay lock fitting, the high lock. mod. And then we'll have the wire going Jeez, in. Jeez, that's pretty. That's our wire, that's the stay lock right there, huh? Mm -hmm. Very cool. So with the deck fittings in place and the tanks on the mast, the last step would be to connect them, which required one more calculation of the all important angle of the dangle. And watch here, this is funny, as I undo the very important work that Brandon does. Pretty sure you think eyeball is fine. Well, what I would do is get a measurement of where this is out on the deck. Mm -hmm. Don't let me bother you right now, man, if you gotta run. Yeah. And then... You can use string, but we need to get a stick and measure down. Kind of weird measuring the angle of the triangle and all that. You don't want them. They're not going to be straight. No, they're going to lead. You're right. They're going to lean aft and fore. Yeah, I see what you're saying. They're going to be a little bit like this. You see, Philip, we didn't think about that. Yeah. Yeah, he's right. Because we're going to have to tap the holes a certain way. So we've got to. You want to match. You want this to be as straight as I think possible. I is here. <laughs> we, we'd, have, we'd have mounted it all angles and perfect. And it, great. it would probably be. <laughs> Probably. Fine, except the jaw fun. length might, might mess with you. Yeah. If, you, well, if the jaw didn't fold right, didn't far move. enough forward and then it's, you get, yeah. we put it up and then it's can't, then we screwed. So I would have it as close to whatever that angle is. I got you. Thanks. Now, what is Brandon talking about here? Let's see if Video Annie can explain. Brandon was really smart to tell us as we're putting our. Imagine the mast is here and we're putting our plates on real straight and pretty, you know, we want them real straight. But the actually, if you think about it, the shrouds pull aft and fore, the lowers. You know, the upper is probably going to be straight. Pretty much, it may tilt back just a little bit, but we've got to find that kind of angle, at least as best we can to, um, you know, put the least amount of tension on the rig, like awkward tension that doesn't need to be there. So I'm trying to measure from the mast. Like how far back from the mast, how far the aft plate is. So kind of that distance, mast to aft and mast to four. So we can get our best guess as to that angle. Does that make sense? You got that? 
Alright, that's my best guess. <clears throat> so if the mast is, it'll be like kind of here. The four is about 23 inches away from where the mast would be on the deck. The upper is three inches where the mast would be on the deck. And the lower is 26. I'll be done in just a second if you boys wasn't talking. That one's 23 if you're doing the four, not 26. The four one's 23. Not quite as far aft. Where did she go down there? Yeah, I can see what he means. Wow, that's smart because you can tell it needs to come down. Cool. That looks nice. Once we were sure we had found the right angle for the tangs, Brandon was also wise to tape them in place so we were sure to tap them in the exact right spot. I put my hands on. Oh my god, Mike, that's nice. Mike tapped the first one for us as an example, but gave us some great instructions on how to use his manual tap to do the rest. Can you do this part by hand? Yeah. Wow, it's just so strong, it can etch into it. Yeah, just, just wow. I've never seen this thing before. You gotta go a little bit, back up, it breaks the chip out. You don't want to so just keep twisting, you know what I mean? Yeah, we did tap our, our uh, boom, man. Then it was time for video and Annie to get to town. Oh, yeah. Then it was time for video Annie to get to tapping. GoPro, I'm unsupervised. They're real brave letting me tap the mast, but I'm trying. I did my little seed hole and I'm going to run through with the drill over a nice 90 degree angle, like this do. goes in without a hitch. Looks like I put her in right. <laughs> there we go. Sweet. That's it. I have one. The next step would be to polish our new stainless steel tangs to a mirror shine and be sure to apply plenty of tep gel in between the stainless steel of the tangs and the aluminum of the mast to prevent corrosion when we mounted them for the final time. Then it would be time to get that mast up and connect it all together. Until then, Video Annie was tapped out. Well, almost. The others they get tightened down but just did all those so we are coming along. Life's a little bit here is tapping. Yeah, I'm having fun. That's okay. Liking these videos? Awesome! Be sure to subscribe on YouTube, sign up at havewindwilltravel.com for free copies of my sailing books, and join my journey across the Atlantic, which I'm sharing exclusively on Patreon. Get inspired and get on board. Take a little pressure off of it, it breaks the chip. I hope that's good. <laughs> that scared me. But man, I did make pretty. Is that a good sign of steadiness? Yeah, well, yeah, you even had good steady pressure on it. But. <laughs> pretty. That's confetti. Save one. All right. So now you can take the spray and kind of spray that out. That's the prettiest hole I've ever seen. And then put your little WD-40 on the tap. Uh, see how lucky we get. The writing's on the wall. No, you don't want to do that. I don't. I'm a little nervous. Are you sure you want me to do it in Philip? Yeah. This is a great any project. <laughs> I don't know about that, honey. It was important. I got all the confidence in the world. You're crazy. You need to get some of your own. Right? Nobody to watch me. Little <laughs> bolts. Half inch. 
Sweet. Ah, I love that feeling of getting screwed. I'm doing this shit. It's kind of cool. Last little bowls of our rigging on the upper floor. Last little bit of everything. It's all complicated. It's the last for today. 